Welcome back. As promised, our second Wednesday breakfast sponsor, White Wilson Medical Center, is here. And they have all kinds of great things going on in Niceville we're getting ready to talk about. First up, we have Leslie Molin, who is the PR specialist, right? Public yes. relations. Did I get that right, you Leslie? Did. And also with us, we have Dr. Cena Compton and Dr. Evan Meeks. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. This is the first time I've ever had two doctors on the segment at the same time. It's, <laughs> it's a high point. It really is. <laughs> Leslie, tell us a little bit about um, White Wilson and what kind of services you offer. Sure, we're the largest multi-specialty physician group in the area. We've got over 75 healthcare providers and more than 20 different specialties. So we've got everything from pediatrics to orthopedics, cardiology, everything in between. Mm -hmm. And we've got four locations. We're in Fort Walton, Niceville, Navarre, and Destin. And we also offer in-house lab and, um, um, yeah. My goodness, you guys <laughs> are spread out. Wow, we are. fantastic. So no matter where we're going to travel around our area, we, we can always get to White Got Wilson, can't we? Um, there have been a lot of changes in, in the way things are happening in the healthcare world. How has that impacted you guys? Everyone knows there have been a lot of changes, yeah. and it seems like there's something in the media every day about changes in the healthcare sure. industry. And our community is just like every other community in America, and we are seeing those. But um, luckily, we are um, no strangers to change. We've been navigating changes in the healthcare industry since Dr. White opened the first clinic in 1946. So <laughs> oh my goodness, we, okay. <laughs> we've um, been continuing to grow, continuing to meet mm -hmm. our community's healthcare needs, and we are definitely excited about our future. And I understand that you're growing. Yes, Tell yes. Me a bit We've about added 13 new providers just this year. We've got more to come. So we um, have added one new specialty. We have cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. Well, mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got Dr. Christopher Dress for that. Um, we have our pain medicine clinic. Uh -huh. um, we have Dr. Frederick Weiss there now. And we are excited to welcome Dr. Noah Converse to the neurosurgery clinic. So he'll be joining Dr. Joseph Levine there and they'll make a great team. And we've also got Dr. Cena Compton. She's joining our family medicine clinic in Niceville, so we've got her with us today. And speaking of Dr. Compton, tell us yes. a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm new to the area, but uh, I'm very excited to be a part of the White Wilson community. And Welcome the White to Paradise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, to join the, the clinic has been wonderful with Dr. Andrew Yang. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the community has been very welcoming, and um, which has been refreshing in yeah. a sense. So. Dr. Wang is actually my wife's doctor. So. Oh. Very nice. You get thumbs up from me for yes. that one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're jumping right in. I understand you just transitioned your family to the area too. Yes, yeah. we, we've moved here. I grew up in a small town in Oklahoma and so being out here you're used to community sense where everybody goes to the high school football games yeah. and you come together and so this area has been very welcoming in the sense that you run into somebody at the store or at the clinic and um, they've been very nice so even the White Wilson um, staff and has been very welcoming for us helping us to adjust to the area getting you all settled in yes well, absolutely I'm telling you you've moved to paradise God bless you and you're, a lot of the reason we are paradise is because folks like you are moving here so oh. yeah we, we can't wait um, as a family medicine provider you see a wide range of patients um, can you tell me what kind of care you typically, how do we know we're looking for family care? Well, in family medicine, you encompass a, a large variety of care from um, babies. I see children from one month and up. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're able to bring that together and trying to provide primary care in the sense I refer patients out. Um, they're able to go to the specialist. Since White Wilson has set 20, over 20 specialties, I help manage that. So when I refer them out, they'll come back to me and I, okay, what did you learn from this doctor? What can we do to maintain that? Um, if you see a cardiologist, you'll re be referred, have some tests done, and then you'll come back to me. So it's either cardiology, I help with hypertension. If uh, diabetes, uh, help with maintaining their ideal blood glucose levels, mm -hmm. sleep apnea, the whole, the whole picture. And then if you're sick, you can also stay with your primary care. And, and, the, and since I am board certified from a month and up, I can see kids. So if a mom comes in and their child is sick and they sure. haven't been able to see Dr. Meeks, I can help with that. But what's beautiful about White Wilson is we do have a centralized medical record system. So as a primary care provider, if you were to see a cardiologist or see an endocrinologist or any of the specialties we do provide, it's all within one computer system. So you don't have to go and get your medical records and, and get your labs transferred oh, and get your x-rays here and all that. Patients yeah. don't like doing that and then no. it's then the continuity of care is broken because if they forgot to bring their records or their medications they're taking, it affects their the best quality of medicine they can receive. So as 
as a primary care physician, I help kind of delegate where everything is going to go, and then to just make sure you are aware of what happened at that specialist. So sure. sometimes it can be confusing if you've seen five different doctors and it's like, what does this all mean? And so that's kind of my goal is to be able to help bridge that communication gap and is the patient being in control of their medicine, being in control of their care and not just being told what to do. Yep. They have that choice. So White Wilson has made it beautiful where we have these specialties, we have these locations and to make it where you're able to have control over your care. Sure. Dr. Meeks, we kind of let the cat out of the bat a little bit. You, yes. uh, you like to look, work with the little ones, I understand. Tell us a little bit about your practice. Right. I'm a board certified pediatrician mm -hmm. and we've got board certified pediatricians at all four of the locations. So you shouldn't have any problems um, finding a pediatrician. Sure. We're all open to uh, new appointments, uh, new availability for any patients to be signed up. Uh, just come on by. Uh, I'd like to tell everybody that at Niceville, we've got um, another pediatrician, Kyle Simmers, and a new physician assistant, Jennifer Edwards, that just joined our practice. Oh my goodness, you really are growing fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about White Wilson and uh, pediatric clinics across the board. You have quite a few, I take it. Yes, with all four locations having pediatricians and board certified pediatricians, you should be able to find them at each location. Sure. Um, we've extended our hours, so at each of the locations you will find from Monday through Friday, um, seven to seven um, hours. And um, at Niceville and Fort Walden Beach, we have hours on Saturday from nine in the morning until noon. Yep. And at Navarre, they've got extended hours for pediatricians or pediatric patients um, on Saturdays, um, sure. 8 until 4 p.m. And, and everybody on top of everybody's mind right now is we're back to school, and it seems like oh, yeah. the kids are forever getting <coughs> sick when school starts. Uh, is there anything you can share with parents to help them out? Excellent. Yeah, that's what pediatrics in a nutshell is all about, getting mm -hmm. kids ready for school, um, finding things early. We work mm -hmm. mostly with prevention. So how we can get them ready for school, to have them be successful in their school year, preparing them for a successful school year. Uh, there's a couple pointers that we, we routinely say in pediatrics. Well, one, get your flu shot, um, so mm -hmm. an illness that we can prevent. The flu, this next year's flu shot is available. Sure. Um, it's getting to the clinics over the next uh, week or two. Uh -huh. um, washing their hands, reminding families, to, that's probably the first line of defense for our kids. Um, other things to prepare for a successful school year is to get your physical examinations, be it sports physicals, um, and maybe come up with some plans that if a child has special needs at the school, yeah. um, to make sure that the school sure. nurse knows what's going on, be it EpiPens Keep or them albuterol. Yeah. Sure. And make sure everything's up to date, too, because yes, that stuff will go out for a while. Oh, yeah. We'll look at all of the shots to make sure that they're up to date. Um, again, with our electronic medical record of it communicating, um, it's pretty much flawless. Makes it easy. And I'm glad to hear you're taking new patients, because yes, as I yes. told you before we started, <laughs> I need a doctor. My yes. wife's beating me up about it. So it, and it, the fact that you work with Dr. Yang makes it so much easier, because yes. she'll know that I'm actually going when I tell her I'm going. <laughs> so they check Dr. Compton, I guess I'll have to give you a call. Yes. And, and if I wanted to give either one of them a call to get an appointment how would I do that no. that you can call our main clinic mm -hmm. um, and they can patch you out to whoever you need oh or if you happen to live real close to the Niceville 897 number yep. would be the one to <laughs> get go. and mm -hmm. I guess I'll be seeing you in the next yes. week or two so Wonderful. We can get <laughs> taken care of yeah. thank you very much for sponsoring our breakfast thank you for all the great work you're doing you. taking care of our children taking care of our families mm -hmm. and taking care of everybody uh, White Wilson's uh, <laughs> footprints are all over our community we sure okay. do appreciate thank it thank you God bless Thanks, you sir. all Stay tuned. Uh, we've got a fantastic closing segment. I'm not going to let it out of the bag, but you don't want to go away because you're going to want to hear what we have to say. So stay tuned.